Hello everybody, welcome to Wonder Channel. I was recently wondering about monomials. In this video, I will briefly explain the definition of a monomial and present some examples. Here we have an example of a monomial, 7x to the power of 3. Well, as a definition, a monomial is an algebraic expression which connects by products, numerical factors and variables. Numerical factors can be numbers and or letters, representing constants, and the variables are powers with natural exponent and base represented by a letter. Now, as examples of monomials, we may have the following, considering that x, y and z are variables and a, b and c constants. In the first example, we clearly see the product connections between constants and variables. The second one shows a fractional number that is a constant multiplied by two variables. Now, the next example shows a product which has a power with a natural exponent, being all these three perfect examples of monomials. x divided by 2 is also a monomial because it is the same of having 1 divided by 2 multiplied by x. Now a minus b between parentheses multiplied by z is a monomial because a and b are constants. Their subtraction will result in a constant which is then multiplied by the variable z x to the power 0 is a monomial which will result in the number 1, although the definition states that in monomials we have powers with natural exponents, and 0 in the most accepted convention isn't a natural number, but that's another story. The next example shows a root square of the number 3, multiplying it with the variable x. This is a monomial since the root square of 3 is a number written in its exact simplified form. Finally, 4 is a number, so it is a monomial composed only by the numerical part, and with the number 0 happens the same thing, the 0 monomial. Now, for non-monomial examples, we may have the following. The first example shows a subtraction between two variables. They are not connected by products, so this is not a monomial. The second one shows the variable in the denominator, which is the same thing of having 2 multiplied by y to the power of minus 1. This according to one of the power properties that we know. And minus 1 is not a natural number, so this also isn't a monomial. The following example, similar to the previous one, is the same thing of having 7 divided by x by the aforementioned power property. And so, it is not a monomial for the same reason. In this example, using the distributive property, it will result in the sum of a variable and a number, which isn't a monomial. The last example, the square root of the variable z, also represents a non-monomial. This can be seen from one of the radicals properties, that this is the same of having z to the power of 1 divided by 2, and 1 divided by 2, which is equal to the 0 0.5, isn't a natural number. And that's it, a quick view on monomials. If you have any question or you want another video showing more examples of monomials or non-monomials, let me know and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.